Parents gathered outside the Ministry of Education today, some to express support and others criticism for implementing 12-year compulsory education beginning next year. Their diverging views don't end there. The government is leaning toward offering tuition-free schooling for all, regardless of wealth, but some parents feel it's only fair if children of the wealthy pay more. Members of the National Alliance of Parents Organizations gathered in Taipei outside of the Ministry of Education to show their support for the government's plan to implement 12-year compulsory education next year. Opposite them, another parents organization insisted the program should be delayed. We certainly believe it's best to suspend implementation. But if the government insists, then I beg it to halt the parts of the program that are controversial and only implement pieces that have not sparked controversy. The ministry's plan calls for tuition-free education for all, regardless of parental earnings. Opinions from parents' groups diverge on whether such benefits should be extended to the wealthy, and local governments say it will present a financial burden. Six mayors have even expressed their opposition. It's clear that a consensus has not yet emerged. Premier Zhang Yihua will defend the program in the legislature on Friday hoping to pass the government's proposals on admissions and free tuition.